All right, we get a chance now to go out to the diamond and talk to the ladies of the diamond, the Stoughton Vikings senior captains. We have Morgan, Madison, and Kaylee who are joining us here today. And welcome on in, ladies. And we want to teach people what Stoughton softball is all about. So what would you like people to know about Stoughton softball? Well, I would like to know that people, like, even though we had a rough season uh, start to it, that we're trying to finish uh, the season off strong. And we might get a little, like, people that don't really believe in us um, for the winning because we had such a rough start, but we're going to finish off the season strong and make our fans proud. <laughs> that's that's a great <laughs> attitude, and it's an attitude that says, hey, there are some highlights to come. But, you know, so far in the season, even though you've had a rough start, what have been some of the, at least the highlights that you've all have had? Well, our fort game last Tuesday, we had our highest level of intensity and positivity, really. For the, it was like really our peak of the season so far. And I just think if we keep playing like that, then we'll have a really good end of, to our season. Good, and that's something to definitely build on. You know, and speaking of building, I, you now are seniors. You've been playing in Stoughton softball for a while. You know, what does being part of the team, being part of Stoughton softball meant to you? Stoughton softball has really allowed us to become part of something bigger and represent our school. Like we've all come together so much, learned about each other and how to work together as a team. It's allowed us to become a family and I think that's what it's all about. Always good to be connected like that. Now you talk about that the best part of your season is still to come, that you got some highlights, you're gonna get better after a rough start. What are some of the expectations that you're setting for yourself for the rest of the season and for the postseason? Some of our expectations are keeping our intensity and positivity up. Especially as Madison said about our fort game last Tuesday, once the intensity went up, our level of gameplay went up. So we're planning on keeping that up, keeping positivity, focus, and staying energized throughout the entire game. Absolutely, good stuff. Now, you ladies are at the point in your tenure in high school where you gotta start thinking about the future. What comes after graduation? What plans do you guys have? Well, for me, I plan on attending UW Lacrosse. Uh, to pursue in elementary education and in hopes to become an elementary school teacher. Very cool, yeah. So it's good to have that kind of stuff and, and the afterthoughts. Now for young girls that are looking to play varsity baseball, I know my daughter at nine years old, she just started down the path of softball and she loves it. What kind of advice do you have for girls that are looking forward to doing that? I think a lot of it is stay positive and play each game like it's your last because you never know what could happen, what will happen. You got to leave it out all on the field. Absolutely. That intensity is so important. Ladies, thank you so much. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> a special thank you to Conan Automotive in Stoughton for supporting local athletics.